but to use products and all that stuff you don't have glass skin you have artificial skin so if you want the best skincare start doing this this video is for all the people who are way too damn obsessed with their skin to the point where they're saying oh i need this glass skin i need this glass skin. let me let me show you something look at this do you see the difference how angles and lighting makes on the skin do you see this this is not perfect skin by any means but if i go like this i could easily take a picture and say oh glass skin my skincare routine buy these products something that i found out a long time ago is that most of these things is just hype most of these things they're just trying to uh, either get clout or they're just trying to get money from affiliate links and all this stuff saying oh here's my skincare routine and all this stuff listen the way that i found this out was a long time ago when i was in middle school i had acne my acne was terrible had so many pimples and i was very ashamed of this i was very ashamed of this i used to get my sister's concealer and I would put this on to try to hide the pimples that I had because I had so many pimples. And I remember at one point, I don't remember how it happened exactly. And I don't want to make up a story and lie to you. But at some point, I stopped using the facial washes, the creams and the masks and all this other stuff. And when I stopped using it, that's when I noticed the biggest difference in my skin that's when my skin started to actually become normal that's when my skin wasn't so dry nor was it too oily that's when my pimples started to be less inflamed and they started to go away on their own and so still in the same time it wasn't like years later it was still in the same exact time when i had the acne so it couldn't have been hormones because clearly i was using the the products and before I was using the products, I had the pimples that were going crazy. So something changed, right? And the thing that changed is I stopped using anything. Because before, when I was young, I would always wash my entire body and my face with soap. And then when I started getting pimples, what well, would make sense, okay, I'm using the soap constantly on my face. I'm drying my face out, making me break out. I'm also going through puberty, so the hormones are... Uh, playing a, a decent part in there and then now I transition into face washes and acne creams and all this other stuff and that's just going from one thing that's messing my skin up to another thing that's messing my skin up and I'm constantly buying into what people are saying like no 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 you need this product no you need this product over here listen you don't need any of this stuff once I quit it all once I stopped taking all this stuff I think I did it out of Perhaps, uh, like I said, I don't want to lie here, but perhaps I did it because I was frustrated that none of this stuff was working. So I literally just used water. But again, I, I can't say that's 100% what I did. And from there, like I said, just water. No soap on my face, no washes, no creams, no nothing, just water. But I didn't just splash my face with water. I would literally act as if I had the face wash and really move the water through my face and just get all the movement going to be able to clean my face with the water with the cold water and that's when I noticed the biggest difference in my skin now fast forward several years later I'm not going to tell you that I don't get pimples here and there but what I will say is that diet plays a huge part you know, if you eat clean, your skin will resemble this. If you eat like shit, your skin will resemble that as well. And it's like the whole saying goes, what you are, what you eat. But I also found out that if you fast, you know, if you do intermittent fasting where you're eating less, you have specific time frames where you're eating, and then you prolong the windows of time where you're not eating, because you're eating less I like to say essentially you are less of what you eat because 
even if I eat like trash, but I'm doing intermittent fasting, I find that my skin doesn't suffer as much. It still suffers, but not as much, right? And then the last thing that I want to say here, skin, the skin that we have is the biggest organ. Your heart, your liver, your kidneys, these are all organs. Now your heart, your liver, and your kidneys, and your stomach, do they or do they not know what to do? Are you making your heart pump? Are you making it beat? Are you making your stomach digest? Are you making your liver basically filter out everything? Oh no, I think that's the, the kidneys. You get the picture though. You're not doing anything. Your organs know what to do. So if skin is the biggest organ that we have then logically speaking your skin also knows what to do so if you stop doing so damn much for it you chill out then your skin can take care of itself i mean when you go into the sun and you get sunlight you get a turn all right you might get a little burned here and there but your skin changes, your, your skin changes in the pigmentation so that way it can handle more sun exposure. These are very natural occurrences. And then this whole thing about sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. Listen, if you were to go out in the sun, if you were a sane person, if you were right in your head, which again, don't take offense to this, but if you were right in your head and you went outside and you got burned the entire day, I'm talking about you were out there for two or three hours and you got hella burned. Do you think that you will go out into the sun the next day? How about for the next few days? Do you think you're going to be in the sun or do you think you're going to be chilling in a house or in shade or something like that? You're not going to be trying to go into the sun and get even more burnt. Right? You're probably going to chill. And then the next time around, you know damn well your ass is not going to be out there for another two or three hours so you can experience the same pain that you went through. You're probably going to go for a little bit and then when you start feeling like your skin is getting hot You're going to get out of the sun This is a natural thing See, our, again, our body knows what to do Quit doing so much and you will see for yourself This whole glass, glass skin thing It's a marketing tactic, this is, uh, it's, a, it's not real, it's an illusion right, Anytime you see someone, they have very very glowy skin listen the glow can come natural if your skin is in the best condition naturally but to use products and all that stuff you don't have glass skin you have artificial skin so if you want the best skincare start doing this